It has come to my attention that lots of people play video games on their phones. What a novel idea. In today's video, we're going to take the new Pixel 6a, which does in fact have the same Google Tensor chipset as the Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, all be, I believe, 6 gigabytes of RAM. We're going to take this phone and we're going to play some of the most popular games on the market and see what kind of performance you can expect out of this $450 phone. Please excuse my poor performance, I grew up using buttons and not screens to play games on. Now to try and at least partially make up for what are certainly going to be my own deficiencies, I'm going to be using this anchor power play thing and basically all this is going to do is it's going to give me a grip to hold on to the phone. It does have a fan in it, but I'm not going to be using the fan because that will be uh, cheating in terms of the performance. So we're just going to play the games like this because, like I said, I, I don't want to embarrass myself any more than I'm already going to. So let's jump into first, let's just do Call of Duty because that was the first one on the list. One thing that I do really like about this phone is the fact that it does actually have stereo speakers. This is actually like a pretty good setup. There's a speaker down here and there's a speaker up here and it works pretty well. So we're gonna put our volume somewhere in the middle range so that I can hear what's happening and you can kind of get an idea of what is happening as well. And hopefully this will be uh, visible enough to you guys. Now I'm actually quite positive I've already signed into this game because I thought I set this up already. Looks like it just remembered as well. Okay, here we go. We're gonna find a game. Hey, I know about Nuketown. Let's hope this entire lobby is nothing but bots because that would be uh, just greatly beneficial to what I'm trying to do here. Um, okay, so this is a 60 hertz refresh rate. So even though this is running very, very smoothly, it doesn't need to run any higher than 60 FPS, which appears to be what we're getting. I mean, it, this feels very, very smooth. I don't think... I can experience any any dropping of frames, any sort of uh, substantial lag. I don't like the automatic shooting thing very much. I also have a really hard time just remembering where the different buttons are that I need to hit. Look at that! I got a. I got a what is this? What do I do? I just throw it. Huh, look at that! What does it do? You oh, I know what a UAV is. It's performing very, very well. If you're buying this thing and you're thinking, I want to play some COD Mobile, I just found the entire other team. Um, I think you can totally do that. Oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> okay. And of course you do have the, uh, the stereo speakers there, which is going to come in handy. This is performing as well as you could possibly hope it was going to perform. We are now in Apex Legends, a game that I uh, don't play on PC or really anything. Um, we're going to go Battle Royale. I don't think, I, I think I'm going to be stuck with a team, so um, sorry. Sorry, team, that <laughs> I'm going to play very little of this match and then leave Swag Killer 966 I'm terribly sorry. The screen is not massively large. I think it's like 6.1 inches or something like that. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen. But it's it's fine. It is sufficiently large while not being absolutely gigantic. It remains a, a very pocketable phone. Oh, we're the champion squad. Okay. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. Okay, so we're flying overhead. This is a place where I would imagine if we're going to get performance issues, this would be where we would see it. And it is not dropping any frames at all. This thing is just absolutely chewing through this with no problems at all. The look sensitivity may be a little on the high side. A little bit of a little bit of framiness there, but this is again, this is a, a pretty crazy thing for a phone to be doing in the first place. So nothing deal breaking at all. Just a little framiness there as we were dropping in. Alright, um we are now on the ground. There's jump, scan for nearby. Oh yeah, that's right, that's a thing I can do. Okay, so there are enemies in there. We're gonna go try and find uh, guns, would be cool. This is gonna be, a, I, I'm just letting you know, this is gonna be a disaster. I'm thinking we just, you know, we just, we just prove a point, we just push in here. Sonar detected, we just got scanned, I'm firing my gun again for no reason. Is there a shoot button? Yeah, there's a shoot on the left as well. Is that behind me? 
think I'm being pushed. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's triple take him. These have to be bots. What? No, what? Stop doing stuff. What is all this on the screen? Oh my god. Oh, this is horrible, guys. I'm honestly sorry that y'all had to watch what just what I just did there. Um, we're just we're just gonna get rid of that. <laughs> okay, now we are in PUBG Mobile. Now I've played a lot of PUBG on my computer before. Very little PUBG Mobile, but at least I kind of like know the game a bit better. I know the map a bit better. Um, what about the actual phone itself? It's getting a little on the warm side, and that's something that the Tensor does. It gets a little on the warm side, but it's nothing too crazy. And PUBG is running really, really well. Again, HD textures and so forth, I believe I selected. Let's go into the graphics here. Uh, so we are on frame rate high, graphics HD, HDR. Ultra HD is not available. Let's just do HDR, which normally stands for high dynamic range, but I don't know if that's the case here. Uh, customize buttons, graphics. We're going to put that back on colorful and back on HDR. Let's apply that. Now we're just waiting 10 seconds to be able to get in the plane and see what we're dealing with. But so far here on the little starting island, everything's running really, really well. In fact, my ping is 24 milliseconds. I would kill for 20 seconds or 20, 24 milliseconds of latency in PUBG on the PC, that would be fantastic. I tend to get uh, like 60 or 70, which makes for not as good of an experience. We're going to go... Uh, we're going to go there. Is that a... What is that? A shop? Are there shops? Jumping out was actually very smooth. A lot of phones will kind of stutter in that jumping out of the plane animation from what I've tested in the past. Uh, no problem at all here for the Pixel 6a. I remember right, this game is like all bots. All bots all the time. In fact, I don't even see anybody around. We're probably not even going to get any, like, action because there's probably going to be nobody landing here. What are you going to do? Can't control that. Oh, actually, I think there's... How do you have a gun already? You just landed! Oh, God. Well, that sounds like that's coming. Yeah, 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 all right. Different guy or same guy? Don't know. I need consumables. Oh, <laughs> okay. Am I a lady? Uh, man, this guy had an M16 and all that stuff. That had to be a bot, right? Because he, he went. Where is this coming from? I don't burst. You get rid of that. There we go. Gah! It's like if you had to aim your gun with your trigger. You know, like the fact that the trigger and the aiming button 
it's all i mean i'm i'm here aiming and then there's a trigger right there it, is, it just doesn't make any sense to me i think you can move these things around but like i don't know i'm just too old for this how is it performing though let's just auto run how is it performing well it's performing fantastically there's absolutely no frame drops at all it's running at, at we have 60 fps 60 hertz locking to that to that display array, I think it's running really, really well, and the settings are pretty much maxed out as far as I can tell for a normal device. You saw what they were. Make that judgment for yourself. It's running really well. So there you go. I think we've learned a few things here. The first thing we've learned is that I can't play video games with a touchscreen. I think we already knew that. Another thing is, is that this thing does get relatively warm, but the biggest takeaway is that it is chewing through all of these AAA mobile games with nary a problem, no frame drops at all. They're running fantastically well. So if you're looking at this $450 phone because gaming is something that you're considering, the speakers are decent, the screen is fine, and the performance is very, very good. Now look, is this a ROG phone? Is this a Black Shark gaming phone? No, it is not. It doesn't have the high refresh rate, right? It doesn't have the massive screen. But gaming, if it is sort of a secondary thing of yours, number one, like, you know, you don't want to spend a lot of money. Great, it's got it. You want a really good camera, you want solid performance, you want a good looking phone, and gaming is something you might be doing. Don't think twice, Pixel 6a is going to knock that out of the park as well. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.